with Bo Schembechler and Jim Brandstatter is brought to you by General Motors, where the vision is paying off in product excellence. By Mr. Goodwrench. No one knows your GM car better than Mr. Goodwrench. No one. By Buick and your Buick dealer. The Great American Road belongs to Buick. By the financial professionals at Payne Weber. Oh, how many heartbreaking finishes the Wolverines can have, but it's two for two in the 1988 season. 31-30 loss to Miami, the nation's number one ranked team. And, Coach, this is a game that you probably should have won. Well, I think uh, we should have, Jim. We, we lost opportunities in the first half to uh, really build a lead. And uh, then, uh, for some reason, our offense uh, didn't uh, function very well in the last part of the fourth period. And our defense sort of fell apart there, and they, uh, they outscored 17 points and beat us. Still, the improvement, and you've said this many times, the more, most improvement you see from a team is between the first week and the second week. And I, I think you saw that improvement in this Michigan team. Well, I think we did, particularly offensively. I thought we played well. There were spots in there where we played very well defensively. But uh, it's still a case of uh, we give up too many big plays, Jim. For some reason or other, I... I you know, we just give up too many big plays. The one thing the defense did do, though, starting off, was get some big yeah, plays. Yeah, you know, we didn't turn the ball over, and they gave us uh, three turnovers, and yet um, we still um, lost the game. Um, that's rather unusual. But we did make some horrendous mistakes, one on the, and most of them on the kicking game, really. That, that really hurt us. Here's uh, Michael Taylor uh, hitting Derek Walker, who had another fine game for us uh, this week. Uh, this is the quarterback draw, which is a key play early for us. Um, we put that in this week, and it was uh, very successful for us. And then had to settle for a field goal. Uh, actually, um, uh, we were kicking field goals and not making very many of them, and that, that really hurt us. This uh, youngster, Cleveland Gary, here is quite a, quite a fullback. He's big and <laughs> difficult to tackle. He's got a great pair of hands. He's a fullback. He's a tailback. He's a receiver. He's everything. He's, he's all over the place. Did a nice job of the tight end. The tight end uh, caught a lot of good passes, runs good routes, and Walsh is a very, very fine quarterback. This is ridiculous here. I mean, uh, that's two inexcusable mixed tackles. And, and that would have uh, stopped them from a first down. Oh, yeah. They wouldn't even have a first they down would, yeah. and a touchdown. Now, that play more than any is very, very upsetting. Um, Taylor scrambles out here and uh, finds Derek Walker again. Uh, I thought uh, Mike improvised very well when he had to and did a, did a good job. Tony Bowles running the draw play, uh, runs hard here for a first down. Um, a lot of third down successes on both sides, to tell you the truth. Here, Mike does a great job once again finding Derek Walker, who uh, goes down for a first down. Use your tight end a lot. Were yes. you thinking about doing that against this club? Yes, very much so. And uh, we've got two good tight ends, Jim. and. Uh, and so it, uh, it's in our best interest to use them a lot. 7-6 now, second quarter. They're back on offense. Again, they go to Gary. Gary, right. He's, uh, he was the key guy for it. Um, this play, uh, inexcusable in this situation. Uh, nearly at midfield and then uh, to uh, let him fake punt. Got a lot of young guys that you put on the special teams, and uh, they weren't alert. Uh, then they dive in and get a score on us, and it's 14-6. 14-6, and, and they've moved the ball pretty well, and yet I think the thing that's key is your offense kept coming after kept him. Kept coming and... there. Here's a screen pass to Tony Bowles. Does a nice job picking his way for a first down uh, across midfield. The offense really came back strong, even though they were down, and I think that's a good sign. Oh, yeah. I, I think the offense will be good. Here's a great pass from um, Taylor to Colasar on the sideline, and we're down in there ready to score. Uh, Mike comes back again, runs the draw again. Um, this was twice in the first half that that play uh, helped us a lot, got us out of the hole. Um, Mike goes back to pass, had a great fake by Tony Bowles, comes over the top here to the backside end, in this case with Jeff Brown uh, for the touchdown. And that, that we went down there real fast on that one and uh, scored. Uh, here's the kickoff. And uh, Miami gets the ball and starts up here. And, uh, gets hit here and fumbles the ball, and we recover. And now we got another chance, Jim, to get back in there. Now, your offense went to the pass a lot here in this situation. They were loaded up to stop the run, figuring right. that's what you're going to do. Right. Uh, Mike goes back, does a nice job finding Callaway down around the 22nd yard line. Um, 
I thought Mike uh, picked out receivers extremely well, read the defense as well. Here he throws a perfect pass to Colasar in the right corner of the end zone for a touchdown. And you go for two points after this yes. touchdown. We went for two and uh, and uh, gave the ball to the fullback uh, on a three receiver uh, formation, and uh, he ran in for a touchdown, so or for two points. At that point, at halftime, you got to feel pretty good about the fact that you came down after they'd taken the lead and you made good on their mistakes and took back the lead going in at half. So you had right. to feel great. Right, we felt good at halftime. We went in there and knew we could move the football on them. Uh, felt we should have been uh, up by a few more points that didn't do a good job in the first half when we had the ball down in there. Uh, but we were confident we could win the game. What was the concern? I mean, they had moved a little bit on your defense, but really just one big play that Gary broke off and then the fake punt really set them into the... Those were the two plays in the first half. If you didn't have those two plays, uh, and we had done a better job. We were four times inside the 20, and uh, twice we came away empty. Now, you can't do that and expect to win against a team like Miami. It turns out if you get points out of those four times inside the 20, you yeah. know, they don't have to worry about the field goal at the end to win it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, that's one of those things. That's why it goes away. One of those things. The second half is coming up. Don't go away. That's next when Michigan Replay continues. Michigan had the lead at half over Miami of Florida, and it was a 20 to 14 lead. And Bo, one of the things you had to say at halftime to the team was, "Let's do something about this Cleveland Gary guy." Was there any kind of strategy of how to stop him, get somebody to shadow him out of the backfield? Actually, Jim, other than the two bad plays, of course, one of them on the punt, and the other on the Cleveland Gary missed tackles. Cleveland Gary was defense. You can't miss two tackles like that and expect to uh, uh, stop it. An uh, uh, individual player. I thought our defense played pretty well the first half, with the exception of those uh, two plays. And they opened up the third quarter playing well. Sure, played pretty well here, and uh, they almost hit Gary here, but overthrew him slightly, and uh, Veda Murray intercepted for us. And so that gives us an opportunity to get back down in there. Pretty much the same game plan offensively for your second half. Oh yeah, we came right back here. We got uh, Jeff Brown down the middle on a big play. And uh, Mike goes back again. This is a third down situation. Scrambles for a first down. Um, every, we finally got stopped, went to the field goal, and kicked it. And uh, now we're up 23-14. At 23-14 again, with your defense playing well, you got to say, all right, now we just got to move the ball, control it, use the clock. No, I didn't believe that at all. And we didn't try to use the clock. It was too early for that, Jim. And you're playing an explosive offensive team. Uh, we couldn't do that. We had to keep going and keep throwing and staying after him, and we did. Uh, and moved the ball pretty well all the way up until the middle of the fourth period. Here, uh, Demetrius Brown had to go in and on the first play, uh, hit Derek Walker down the middle on the same play we hit Jeff Brown before. And uh, to keep us down here, then we end up third and 13 and throw this pass, a beautiful pass, just as he was hit, and a great cut uh, by Chris Calloway to get open in the end zone. But once again, they came right back, and uh, Walsh hit a uh, uh, wide receiver here for a first down, and they're in our territory already. And they were moving very fast. Now, a lob pass like that down the, <laughs> down the middle to a tight end, in my judgment, should have been, somebody should have been there to hit that thing. Um, this is the beginning of their comeback. They're in a the two-minute offense. They're not taking huddles. They're pretty much staying, uh, unless the clock is dead. And... Uh, uh, did everything at the line of scrimmage. But, you know, you can sort of anticipate that. Uh, they come back for a two-point play and uh, and hit it. And now it's a 30-22 uh, to 22 22 game. Games. So it's uh, tight. And your offense, this is where your offense didn't make it. This is where our offense happen. didn't move, you know. And I, um, and to be critical, and then we knocked each other off on this play and covering Gary. And he, once again, we got a long play by him. Um, I, I think there's no reason for that. And, uh, but uh, they go for two to try to tie the score, and uh, we intercept the ball. Uh, David Arnold intercepts the ball, and now it's, uh, we, have to, we have to field the onside kick. The onside kick was perfect. It went high in the air. However, the men who were up front that were not making an attempt to uh, catch the ball did not do a good job of blocking them coming down. They should have blocked them. 
and uh, we'd have had a better chance of uh, getting it. Once they got that, and then they had a lot of time left, um, then it got difficult for us to uh, get them stopped, and we got down in there where a chip shot field goal, and you lose another game. Now well, they had some momentum going, too. Now they all of a sudden believed because, you know, the defense hadn't stopped them. Oh, yeah. And where to hits the field goal, this makes it a... 31-30 with less than a minute to go, and yet right. you have some hope left, and yeah. yet you don't get any help from the officials. Yeah, uh, Mike got hurt again, and uh, Demetrius had to go in there, and we throw this pass here to Callaway, and uh, can you believe that they didn't call interference on that? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Well, that, I mean, there, there are some calls on that sideline over uh, <laughs> that I could not believe. Uh, that would have put you over midfield. Uh, probably six or so seconds left. You we know, still had another shot. Yeah, you had a free we play. Saved, we saved a timeout, but I, I don't know whether we'd had a chance to use it to kick a field goal. But, you know, at least uh, we'd have got another shot at him. And the other thing was he had a play over there where they ruled McMurtry had uh, juggled the ball before he'd gone out of bounds and really couldn't see on the Yeah, replay. I don't mind that if the official calls it, but when the opposing coach calls it, I don't think that's exactly the way I want to play football in my own stadium. <laughs> that hurts when you don't get that call in your yeah. own stadium. Um, 31 30 the loss. You ever been had, had two like this at the beginning no, of the season? Never, never have. No, I don't think we've ever started out like this, no. So, something new. <laughs> but let me say this, uh, and looking back at it, um, I think our team played hard, and uh, we we're playing the number one team in the nation, and generally regarded that way, and I don't think that'll change. Um, we should have beaten them, and we didn't, but the effort was there. And uh, in my judgment, it looks to me like we can put together a pretty good football team at Michigan if we can tighten up, up our defense a little bit. I, I'm concerned about that. If we can do that, uh, I think offensively we'll be pretty decent. Offensively, Michael Taylor has come along extremely well at quarterback for you. He proved today, eh? you know, I think that your decision at the beginning of the year to use him as a starter, he's just made some brilliant plays. He's a very heady young man, and he's, uh, he's very bright, knows what he's doing out there. And uh, he's got some good receivers to work with. And uh, so I think our offense will be pretty decent. What about the defense now? You talked about the defense being a little bit of a problem and a concern for you. Is it the fact that they're young in certain places, the secondary? Well, particularly the secondary, Jim. That's been a problem to us, three out of four of them, David Arnold being the only uh, experienced guy there. Uh, that, that's been a problem. There's no question. There's some mistakes make back there that you just can't make. But uh, I really believe that they'll play better football. They played some really good football in that game. But uh, at the end of the game, we didn't get a single big play from them. And you have to do that if you're going to win. Especially in a big game against a good club. But Michigan, while they're maybe young in the secondary, certainly has a great pair of tight ends. Don't go away. We'll take a look. They are best friends. They even room together. And yet Jeff Brown and Derek Walker battle every day for playing time at the same position. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Keeping the best friend relationship alive amidst the competition for the job isn't easy. The secret is not taking the game home. Yeah, it really has made us closest. When we at home, you know, we talk about With Bo Schembechler and Jim Brandstatter is brought to you by General Motors, where the vision is paying off in product excellence. By Mr. Goodrent. No one knows your GM car better than Mr. Goodrent. No one. Of the fourth period, and our defense sort of fell apart there, and they, uh, they outscored 17 points and beat us. Still, the improvement, and you've said this many times, the more, most improvement you see from a team is between the first week and the second week, and I, I think you saw that improvement in this Michigan team. Well, I think we did particularly. One ranked team, and coach, this is a game that you probably should have won. Well, I think uh, we should have, Jim. We, we lost opportunities in the first half to uh, really build a lead, and uh, then, uh, for some reason, our offense uh, didn't uh, function very well in the last part. We offensively, I thought we played well. There were spots in there where we played very well defensively. But uh, it's still a case of uh, we give up too many big plays, Jim. For some reason or other, I, I 
you know, we just give up too many big plays. The one thing the defense did do, though, starting off, was get some big yeah, plays. Yeah, you know, we didn't turn. By Buick and your Buick dealer. The Great American Road belongs to Buick. By the financial professionals at Payne Weber. So how many heartbreaking finishes the Wolverines can have, but it's two for two in the 1988 season. 31-30 loss to Miami, the nation's number one.